this yourself. It's extremely dangerous. Welcome back, Firebirds. We are here for the semifinals night for NECC Rocket League. First off, we have the Firebirds A facing off against the Carroll College Pioneers. The Firebirds had a nice 3-0 victory in their first round matchup last week. Carroll Pioneers, I believe, won theirs 3-1. So it should be a good matchup here as we've got the one seed taking on the four seed. Their players are joining right now as we get ready. The starting lineup for the Firebirds will be I am Westoff, Nyrome, and it's PD. Going against Riser, Visions, and Twitch.tv, Jacobs. Westoff gets the kickoff in his favor to start off. PD will be the first one up for this with no one challenging him. He'll put that toward Cage. Jacob will get the save there. Westoff 50s that all the way back to the Firebirds corner. Visions will put that over the net. The backboard high. Rise for the shot. That's just bar down. Nairon will now take it. He's going to go for a pinch. That'll be forced back middle. PD able to put it back in the corner. And Westoff will try to clear it downfield successfully. Visions meets him at the midfield. PD will clear it over to the side where Jacobs will take it. Jacob gets it around one but not all the way pd now blocking the shot there as firebirds are scrambling a little bit on defense but they are ultimately recovered here as nairam's able to take this ball and get some control pd tries to go for a quick turn in on it doesn't quite get to it visions now trying to pepper the net he'll be 50 by westoff riser gets one touch westoff will put one down toward nairam nairam's gonna try and take it gets one touch around actually still has control Pops it up. Riser's there for it, though. Westoff will get a nice touch to the corner. Gets around one. He's going to go for a follow-up. Oh, my gosh. A great touch to the backboard. Is a firebird there? Not quite. Petey stops it. Nairome tries to get a 50. Westoff's alone on defense now. Clears it right down to Visions. Petey gets a nice block, though, on that shot because it was a really good angle there by Visions. PD clears this downfield off the wall. He's going to get another touch. Gets over Visions. That's out middle for Westoff. Who's going to tap it to the side for Nyrome to take it. He tries to go for a ceiling pinch. Can't quite reach it though in time. Westoff with a beautiful touch back downfield. Visions will have to cut that off. Westoff 50s it around him. PD going for it. Westoff though had enough power off the 50. The Firebirds go up 1-0. Oh. Oh. Beautiful 50 there by Westoff. He heated up, scoring like eight goals in the first series. We'll see him try to put that to work again today as we head into kickoff number two with about three minutes left on the clock. Now Rome will take that to the wall. He'll 
Boom into the corner. That's going to go mid. That's a shot for Petey. And he gets some beautiful card placement to put the Firebirds up 2-0. Look at the mechanical awareness on PD here to understand where he has to position his car to get a perfect touch behind Visions. And he does so perfectly. Firebird's up 2-0 after only 8 seconds passed in that play. Iron fakes that for Westoff. Westoff goes and gets a demo. That's going to leave the net a little bit open. Jacob's trying to go up there. He'll get the clear out to the side, puts it to the corner. Westoff, keeping the pressure going for the Firebirds. He gets cleared past, but Nyrom's right there. Rotation's looking strong for the Firebirds so far. They've had one ready after the other. Communication must be strong. Nyrom's gonna get a nice touch there. Jacob tries to go for the demo, but can't find anyone. PD able to put that more to the side instead of have, making it so that a ball had to go back over the Firebirds' net. Visions clears that to the corner. Nairom should be able to get a touch and gets a beautiful clear. All the way downfield. Put it back in the blue half. That's going toward net though. And with the demo from Jacobs, that was looking like trouble. But West off there. Able to be there. And some missed shots by the uh, Pioneers. He's going to allow the Firebirds to safely put this back toward the midfield. With a nice flick up to West off. Passes it down to Petey. Going for the shot. Visions is going to get the save. That's going to leave all the Firebirds scrambling back to defense. But Nyrom will make it back in time, and PD will get a demo along the way. Westoff almost cuts that pass off. Fake there by PD. He'll grab boost on the way back. Westoff's going to get a touch. He'll pinch it back out. Going to get another one down, but Visions will be the one to make a shot, and it's off the bar. Nairom is going to pass that out to Westoff. Westoff's going to tap it over to the side. Jacob will collect it. Gets a nice clear downfield. Nairom's going to be back on his on his back feet. Visions, great patience. Going to play control on this one. Blow boost. Gets it around one. Almost around two. But PD will be able to clear that downfield. Nairom with a shot. That's going to be a free backboard. Who's going to be up? Westoff tries. Can't quite get it on target. Puts it to the corner instead. Riser fakes out PD. So Nairom will take this himself. PD and Nairom not really getting a great communication there as they ran into each other. Westoff tries to get that. Can't quite get there. Nairom passes it off the middle wall. PD will get a 50. That's an open net if they can get back. Westoff's around one. He's going to pass it mid. Can't quite. He'll tap it down to PD. PD wasn't quite there for it. And we're going back to the Firebirds corner. Final 30 seconds of game time approaching here in game number one. Firebirds up 2-0. Carol Pioneer is going to have to do something quick here. But as I say that, Petey is going to put some pressure for the Firebirds. Westoff gives that ball to Nyrom. Nyrom's got a free air dribble here. Can't quite get it. Jacob's able to pre-jump that. In the final 10 seconds, it does look like the Firebirds are going to be able to walk away with this one unscathed in terms of scoring. As there we go, game one wraps up right here. Maybe a different scoreline, but the same result regardless. The Firebirds have taken game one in the semifinals best of five. We saw some great pressure being uh, held up by the Firebirds there. Great game overall. You know, it seemed like Pioneers just weren't able to get it off their half. It's not like they didn't put up shots. The Firebirds just played much better defense than I think we've ever seen. Wait, when she was when, when when was she my teacher? Oh, Westoff might know someone on the Pioneers team. That's pretty funny. Uh, Firebirds only putting up three shots. Uh, ultimately, Westoff not even awarded a shot for his goal, uh, as it was own own goal. And the Pioneers have put up six shots. So in terms of offense, Pioneers are putting up shots. They just need to be able to find a way to draw the Firebirds out of net more. Maybe get them to do some of those double commits, but. Overall, great stuff by the Firebirds so far as we're about to head into uh, game number two here once they're finished with their little banter. Oh, Westoff has indeed found someone he knew. And it's holding us up here. <laughs> Always fun to see, though. Good, good sportsmanship, you know, being able to talk with the other team. All fun and games here. At the end of the day, we are playing a video game at a, the collegiate level. Can't get much better than that. But here we go. We're in the game two. Firebird's up 1-0 in the series. It is a best of five, may I remind you? So uh, uh, Firebird's only need two more to take the series and move on to the finals. That'll be on Sunday because uh, that is Championship Sunday for the NECC Rocket League. 
And here we go, game number two. Nairon with a great pass, and PD's gonna score that. Oh, that pass was disgusting. Goodness gracious, what a great pass by Nairon there to PD. Linking up phenomenally. Getting around one, nets open. If there was anyone else, I'm sure Nairon would have bumped him. Great play by the Firebirds in the first five seconds. Kickoff number two here. PD's gonna be able to get a touch. He gets around Riser there. Jacobs, I mean, Visions is gonna try to clear that downfield. Nairon's gonna catch it, recognizing the space. He'll get a nice flick. That's the one's main right there on the Carthage Firebirds team. So his flicks are uh, pretty consistent. Never someone you want to let dribble for too long. Westoff will pop that in the air, but Visions is already way up there. He'll get there way before Westoff can. Petey now beating Riser. That's to the backboard. Westoff going for something crazy. He can't quite get there. The net's open if Nairon can get there, and he's unable to. Nairon will flick that to the wall. Petey's going to go for a touch. I don't think he quite recognized how much space he had to work with. Nairon clearing that downfield. Riser on the back foot. Westoff trying to get a touch for the Firebirds. Westoff needs to get out and get some more boost here. So Petey and Nairon are going to handle the offense. And Petey's actually just going to score that on a nice beat to the ball there. Firebirds go up 2-0. Yeah, Vision's not quite able to get the touch. And his teammate wasn't ready for that. So Petey was able to capitalize. Firebirds go up with four minutes left on the clock. Westoff touches around one. Riser puts it to the corner. Now Rome will clear it out. He's going for the touch off the ceiling. Gets bumped away. Petey almost gets his hat trick. Westoff's going to touch that toward mid. Riser will be there, but Westoff's patient. He'll flick it out. That's over Nairom, though. Petey with some multiple touches in the corner. Westoff with a save. And Westoff now has a lot of space to work with. Can't quite do anything with it as the ball is just coming too fast. Nice cutoff there by Nairom. Riser's going to take it. That's going to be a shot opportunity, but Riser side flips. That's going to be an open net now. If Petey can get the flick, he can't quite. Now, Rowan playing a beautiful little just kind of block, making sure there's nothing that the Pioneers can do with that ball. Westoff reading perfectly there, getting the 50. Petey beats again. Riser beats Nairom. This is going to give an opportunity to the Pioneers as the net is almost open. That's going to be the riser scoring for the Pioneers. As some Firebirds were a little bit scrambled on defense, not quite able to get to the ball. Yeah, West off there. Petey couldn't get the touch. It's going to leave an open net for Riser. Firebirds still up 2-1 to one, though. 2 minutes 43 seconds left. Nairom beats. That's an open net. Oh, but Jacob's going to get there before Westoff. PD tries to touch it down. He'll stay on it. He's beat, though, by Riser. Riser gets around Nairom, trying to work around PD next. Almost gets the bump on PD, but PD has a nice recovery onto that ball. Zero boost now, though. So just one more flick before Westoff has to pop it high. Nairom should be up for this ball now. Not quite. Firebirds getting a little more patient on their, uh, on their uh, aggression. Visions with a miss, though. It's going to be costly if Nairon can capitalize. Petey's going to flick it toward net. Jacob's able to get the save. Fakes it. Now Visions clears that toward an open Firebird net. It's going to be a scramble. And Nairon not quite able to make that save. Firebird's now tied up 2-2. As Visions able to take advantage of all the Firebirds being downfield. And no one having enough boost to get to that ball in time. 1 minute 55 on the clock. We got a tie ball game here. Westoff 50s at high. Petey's going to go for a bounce off the corner. That's going toward mid. Vision's able to clear that away. Westoff able to touch it before it gets into trouble. That's 50 toward mid. That's a great demo by Petey, though, to make sure that that ball can't be scored. Very clutch by Petey there, the captain, who's now going to try and put that mid. Not quite able to. Firebirds on their back feet again as they were all pushed up. That's going to be a touch mid for Vision's. Oh my gosh, but Westoff with a beautiful save. 
Riser kind of a little lost in the sauce there. PD now having a shot. Westoff gonna have to bounce off the wall as PD didn't quite read that right. Jacobs will beat Westoff. PD as well beat by Jacobs getting the dunk. Nairam's gonna have a near impossible save here. Westoff luckily able there to help him out. Very low boost for the Firebirds. Westoff will get that back toward mid. Riser can't quite get the shot though. PD able to pick up the full boost and gets the other one so no one should be on his trail. Gets a demo. Now Rome's gonna bounce out off the corner. Westoff coming up for the shot and Visions will get out of there. Westoff pops that high. Nairome able to get an insane redirect. Jacobs with the best save of his career right there as Nairome is stopped from getting the, the uh, shot there. Oh, and just a great, great 50 by PD once again. We'll put the Firebirds up three to two with 30 seconds left. Wow, what a 50. Petey, I gotta give him compliments. He, he understands exactly where his car needs to be in order to get the touches he wants. And we've seen that throughout the series so far. Wonderful job. He's got his Hattie. Hopefully they can keep it as the Firebirds look to extend their lead in the series to 2-0. That's not gonna, that's gonna be trouble as Jacob's going for the top right corner. Can't get the double. Nairome's now got space to play with. Gets the flick. Petey going for the shot. Great placement, but a better save by Jacob. As Westhouse putting that now down. And that'll be game number two. Firebirds win three to two in game number two. They just need to go one more game and the Firebirds are heading to the finals on Sunday. Petey doing a great job in that game. Six shots on net. Two by Nairome. Westoff having a save. And a couple of saves by Nairome. Great job by the Firebirds. They got a little hung up on defense a few times. Strictly because of how much offense they're trying to uh, generate. But ultimately they were able to score more than the other team. And at the end of the day that's all that matters. Uh, Pioneers. You know once again I think it's just a matter of getting that ball out of your half. And maybe controlling a little more. We're seeing a lot of... Uh, long distance passing plays and because of that i think the firebirds that have been have been able to cut it off and ultimately that's why they've been able to score so moving forward pioneers do or die situation here game three we'll be at you in just a second and we're still seeing some more banner by visions and west off love to see it they saw each other on instagram speaking of great plug time Carthage g sports on instagram twitter uh, and I believe that's all we have right now. We are on Twitch already. If you haven't followed us already, please do so. It's where you'll find all Firebirds content. Yesterday, in terms of scores, our League of Legends B team goes on to their championships on Friday. They were able to beat their team, uh, beat their opponent 3-2 to two yesterday, all the way down to the last second and nail-biter. Uh, and ultimately, congratulations to them. We're about to get started here in game number three. Firebirds up 2-0 in the series. Carol Pioneers playing on their last life in the tournament. Here we go. That's a great touch by Jacob to get around the Firebirds. Vision's gonna touch it down. Westoff able to get the touch to the corner. Riser's getting another touch now. Vision's trying to pass it out. Going for a solo instead. Oh my gosh, what a save by Westoff. Already some great pressure being generated by the Carol Pioneers here. Petey's on his back foot, but he'll get the flip onto that. Nairone will just be able to touch that up. Petey clears that downfield. Riser will get the touch to the side. Oh, jeez, and almost a terrible miss by Westoff there. Oh, what a great fake, though. Riser unable to do anything with it, which is going to leave an open net for Petey. And the Firebirds are going to go up 1-0 with four minutes left on the clock. Petey able to capitalize on the other team's mistakes. Really stepping up here as a player in the semis here. Ultimately fantastic to see. Four minutes and two seconds left on the clock. Firebirds up 1-0. Petey clears that downfield. Nairome gets a touch. Oh my goodness, Vision's able to get back. Nairome get, looking deadly with those redirects so far today. Almost scoring two of them. And as I say, Nairome will 50 of that all the way down the field. 
Riser will collect it. PD will put it back toward mid. Nairobi's gonna be up for it. Not quite, I thought. Thought I heard him jumping. Jacob not quite able to get the touch. It throws off Nairom. West off. Able to put it back. Visions will get around. PD. West off on zero boost. Tries to just get it out of their corner. PD will be the one to do it instead. It goes right to Jacobs, though. Jacobs with the reset. Not quite able to get a flick he wanted with it. And it gets past Riser. It's going toward the net. West off will take. That's a miss. Vision's able to fake West off out just a little bit before getting demoed. Nairo now going for the pinch off the ceiling. Petey's up for it. That's going to be a shot. Beautiful placement by Petey. Firebirds go up 2-0. Look at that. Once again, it's just that, that phenomenal car placement where he's able to just angle that to get under and over each of those Carroll defenders. Westoff pops that high. Petey's going for a pass. Petey will go all the way back with zero boost. Nairon will get that to the side. And what a great touchdown field by Nairon. Petey and Nairon a little on each other. Petey passes in mid. Vision's going to pop it high. That still leaves it dangerous for a Firebird to attack. Off the backboard. Nairon for the shot now. 50's past one. Jacob will, be, Jacob, will, Jacob will be able to clear it. As Petey, though, able to generate pressure immediately. Westoff goes for a 50 off the backboard, and he's able to get it. Visions taps it down. Petey will tap it around Visions. Nairom keeping this on the blue half as long as possible. And Petey almost gets the shot there. Westoff's there to keep the pressure going. Visions able to relieve it finally. But Petey looks like he's going to boom that right back to the blue half. And is anyone in the net? Luckily, Jacobs is there. Westoff was headhunting there for the demo. Not quite able to get it, though. Nairom pinches it up the corner. Riser's going to touch it. Westoff will take. Accidentally runs into Nairom. And that's going to be a shot, actually, by Visions. That's a great shot. That's an insane angle. Wonderfully positioned. Now, off the wall. Perfect flip. That's a nice shot. You got to give it props. Firebird's now up only 2-1 to one as Carol has cut the deficit in half. That'll go toward Nairom. He'll get around one, almost two. Jacob's fumbling with it a little bit. Westoff's going to go off the corner. Riser can't quite get the touch. Now Visions will take it. Westoff will beat him. That's off the ceiling. Jacob with the shot. He's going for the double tap. Nairom will deny it. Nairom clears that down to the corner. It's only him and Jacob there. Jacob will beat. Westoff will be there next. Petey getting a little rambunctious there. Going with Westoff. Double commit. Hate to see it. Riser will put that back in the corner. Firebirds. A little bit all over each other again as we see Nairom and Petey on each other. That's a great demo by Petey to alleviate some pressure. Vision's going off the corner. And it'll be 50 by Petey. Back in the corner again. Nairom this time to Westoff, who 50s it. Jacob able to pass that out mid, but Petey will deny it. Westoff with a great pop and follow. Visions will touch. Petey will clear. Westoff tries off the corner, but Riser cuts off that pass. 30 seconds here as the Firebirds are 30 seconds away from the finals. They just have to hold off the Carroll Pioneers for 25 more seconds. They're doing a great job so far as Westoff's able to get that in the air, waste a lot of time. Nairone clears it to the back wall. He's going for a double touch. He'll put that mid. Petey's up in the air. The shot goes far off as the Firebirds tried to nail the coffin shut. 10 seconds left as the Carroll Pioneers are all on low boost. Petey's up for another shot. He's off. Final second. The goal is open, though. Firebirds have to scramble. And that is a win by the Firebirds as the ball touches down with zero seconds left. They sweep. GG's to the Carroll Pioneers. The Firebirds A-team is on to the finals. Good games by all. Petey, wonderful series, great pressure, great ball placement, wonderful job. Can't wait to see him in the finals on Sunday. Thank you so much for watching our first stream. We are going on to a break for a few hours as the B team plays at 8 p.m. and the C team plays at
at uh, 8.30 p.m., but we're actually gonna get an interview, lucky us, with the captain himself. Bring him on in here. What's going on? We What's got going Petey. On? What's going on? How you feeling, man? Dude, amazing. Amazing. It feels great knowing that, you know, we're going to make it to the final. Yeah, final. Chance final. To play. Yeah. I'm super excited. Super excited. Super excited. Hey, you know, last week it was West Off. All series this yeah, time, 100%. it was you. It was you. I felt I felt good today. I you, felt good. I was you were looking good today. I think, appreciate it. It was the fact, you know, that the finals are so close and, you know, Carthage's inaugural season, it's a big moment. Absolutely. So, very, Absolutely. Very Congratulations to you. Thank you. One thing I, I thought was really great out of you tonight was the uh, the car placement. You were yeah. just putting your car everywhere it needed to be. I was in trying order to, to position win 50s. Better. Get that perfect placement. Yep. Thank Phenomenal you. job by you, I sir. I appreciate it. Overall, what do you think? Uh, what do you think went really well? What do you think got you this win tonight? Okay, hundred percent communication. Uh, I think, at least from the viewers' perspective, you guys probably saw little to none double commits from us, and that yeah, uh, there were that, actually very few. I think I counted two all together. Our, our communication was. Uh, Pretty much as good as it gets tonight. We were, uh, we were I would talking a hundred percent agree. You guys were looking strong on rotations. Yeah. There. No, we we definitely have been talking a lot more. We focused on that. There was a competitive video we saw of a team that had really good comms. Yeah. We were trying to mirror that as best as possible. Nice, nice stuff. So that uh, is definitely that was a so key ultimately component. congratulations. Are you looking forward? To, you. Are you shoutcasting tonight? Yes, I should be. So, all right, yeah, we'll, definitely we'll, will be. We'll have Petey back for the B and C games at uh, eight p.m. and eight thirty. Petey, once again, congratulations Thank to you. Thank you very much. Uh, is there any, you know, I'll give you any shout outs you want to give? Anyone you want to shout out? Uh, you know what? I, I don't know. My, I see my roommate there Marco is. watching the hey. chat. I'm sure my girlfriend Allison, she's watching from home. That's about it, though. No, we'll take it. We'll, know, we'll take a shout out of those right two. Now. And ultimately, again, congratulations, Petey. Thank we'll you. see you in the finals on Sunday. I appreciate it. I'm looking and forward to it. We'll see you guys tonight at 8 p.m. Thanks for watching.